Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and The Sims 4 has just dropped a huge new free update. So in this video we're gonna go over everything that is now added to The Sims 4 base game completely for free. All you need to do is open up Origin and go update your game. It's quite a big update so there's a lot to go through. The biggest thing I guess with this update is platforms for the build and buy mode and also sentiments for gameplay so we're gonna take a look at those but first up we're just gonna take a look at a couple of things that they did in Create a Sim. There really isn't that many but one of the main things is that they should have fixed a little bit more what was wrong with the darker skin tones because I did a video when they said they fixed them the last time and they still didn't seem that fixed. So they still had the blotchiness between the eyes and around the mouth. And they said the blotchiness around the mouth should be completely removed now. And the one between the eyes should be better. Um, I definitely still see it here between the eyes, I mean. They said it's not perfect yet. Um, around the mouth, I mean, I see it a little bit still here. So there is going to be a huge like skin tone update, I think later this year still hopefully in december that is going to add over a hundred new skin tones so i'm very excited for that and that is when they're gonna hopefully fully fix everything but they did say that they fixed this a little bit but honestly i don't really see it so i guess we'll take a better look at that when it is fully fixed but they did add something new to um here in skin details i don't really know what these are called but these like nose creases i think they might have had one before but now they have like four or maybe the other one was just for elder sims but now they have four of these that you can give your sim which is kind of cool i don't know why they've decided to add these but honestly i'm all for it it makes sims look a lot more realistic because whenever i make sims i'm like why don't they have these creases here because everyone seems to have them in real life so that's pretty cool. Now you can give these to your sims and apparently they gave toddlers new slippers so we have to take a look at this. Beautiful outfit by the way. Um, oh my goodness, why is everything green? <laughs> that is a bit of a problem. I think it must be my more columns mod just not being compatible with the new update. But anyways, base game. Which are the new slippers? Is it these? These are just the ones that we have for adults. I guess they decided to give them for toddlers. I think it is these. Okay, well, now your toddlers can have slippers. Kind of cute. All right, well, that is all the little updates to create a sim. Now let's take a look at the huge new updates they added to build and buy and to gameplay. So let's do that now. So I think the most exciting thing about this patch is platforms added to the build mode, which honestly sounds super exciting. I haven't gotten to play with them at all yet. So this is going to be my first reaction. I think they are here with the walls. Yeah, so we have different kind of platforms, different sizes. You can make these in like any shape and size and you can stack them, at least from what I've seen. Haven't honestly watched a lot of build videos with the new pack yet, even though some people got super early access, but we have this new platform tool. So let's just uh, take a look. So we have our first platform. Can you grab this? So you can, and then they, here are all the different levels that you can do with the platforms. Okay, how high can you go? Okay, that is a very, very tall platform. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay, so that is as high as you can go. Interesting. I heard that you can also go like down. Oh, so you can also do this. <laughs> you can make a huge hole in the ground. Okay, anyways, platforms. So now if we like copy this thing with this tool and we place it on top. Ooh, okay, so you can create stairs, you can create split level rooms. You can do so many things with this, honestly. I don't build that much anymore, but this makes me quite excited to try some things out and see what kind of new things you can do because like platforms, honestly, 
are a game changer. They allow you to do so many things that you weren't able to do before. Pretty sure you could make some really cool roofs with these even. You can do a lot. And then they did an update to half walls. So now we have, um, interesting. Now we have a lot of new ones. So we have a barely there half wall. There is a bunch of new half wall sizes to fit all the different platform levels. So obviously the first one is just as tall as the first platform. And then the second one is as tall as the next one. If you can see the third one would be this one. So you can match these to your platforms, which I think is pretty cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then why can't we use these? Okay, so 11 for this wall height. And then if we go to a taller wall height, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Extraordinarily enormous half wall. Um, Let's try that one. I want to see what this one looks like. So this is a half wall. Oh my goodness. So anyways, this is what they've added. I don't think they've added any new... No, there's no new wall trims, which is fine. They just wanted to do this to make everything work more smoothly with the new platform. So I'm not really going to play around with those that much in this video. I just wanted to show you guys that they're not in the game. I am not an expert when it comes to these. I feel like we really need to just experiment with these and find out some cool things to do. But that is very exciting. Something else you can do with this base game update is that you can make any lot in any world a vacation lot, like a rental lot, which means your sims can take vacations in any world now, not just in vacation world. So these are the residential worlds and then these are the destination worlds. And usually if your sim decided to go on a vacation, you would have to pick between these three, but now we can go to Solani and we can pick any lot, like obviously a residential, like home lot. Is there any that doesn't have a sim living in it? No. Oh my goodness, who are you? We're going to evict you. And now this lagoon look is a residential lot. And if we go into build mode, we can change it to a vacation rental lot. And now my sims who live in different worlds or even who live in Solani, if you want, they can click go vacation and choose Solani. And uh, this is where they'll be taken to. And this is where they can go on vacation. So here you can choose rental, a rental lot for your vacation in the Sims. Oh, and here in trades, it says rental as well. That is very cool. I honestly love that update because Solani, for example, is a great world to go on vacation to. All right, so I have jumped into my eco lifestyle household with Tasha, my sim from that Let's Play. I turned my reshade on if everything looks brighter and more colorful all of a sudden. So one new thing, a big new thing that they've added with this patch is sentiments, which I am extremely excited for. I think lifestyles go together with this really well, but that is only exclusive if you buy the Sims 4 Snowy Escape Expansion Pack. But they shared some information about sentiments in the patch notes. I guess we can just follow Tasha around. So what it says is, sentiments are those special fuzzy feelings that form between Sims when they share a memorable moment together. Shared experiences between Sims now offer the opportunity for Sims to develop long lasting sentiments between each other, which in turn affects how they feel and act in the presence of or the absence of another particular Sim. Then it says, unlike relationships between sims, sentiments can be a one-sided affair. When two or more sims share an experience together, you may find that all, some, or none of them walk away from that moment having formed a lasting impression of the other sims that were involved. The base game includes a wide variety of these sentiments and Snowy Escape has additional ones tied to the experiences within that pack. This update also added sim profiles, which I am very interested by and I want to take a look. So we have Knox on our lot currently. How can we see his profile? Oh, is he leaving? Aha, it is here in actions, open sim profile. And these are new sim profile for every single sim, which honestly is super cool. I'm very excited about this. So we have a picture of Knox right here. For his biography, all we know is that he's a young adult and our relationship is that we are neighbors and we are acquaintances. Obviously, 
I haven't played in this save file since the update came out, since it literally came out like 10 minutes ago. So we don't have any sentiments, but maybe we can try to create some. We have some really good friends like Summer and Anaya. So maybe I will invite them to hang out over here, see if we can do anything together and form some sentiments. We'll take a look at their profiles as well. Can I see my own profile? Not that I can see. Does it show up anywhere else either? I don't think it does, so I'm gonna go have a chat with our friends. What can we do that could give us a sentiment? Honestly, I don't know how this works really. It just came out, but I would love to find out more about it. So we have a new thing here that says a sentiment. So sentiments about summer, no sentiments at the moment, spend time together and see what happens. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna take a look at her sim profile too. So we are good friends and we know one of her traits. She's active. That's all it says so far. So I'm gonna do something, hang out with these guys and see if we can form any long-lasting bonds and get some sentiments. All right, I've been playing for a little while and I wanted to see if maybe we have some sentiments. Okay, so we do have some. I was kind of arguing with Victor. Um, we went to a nightclub. So Victor's sentiments about Tasha and he has the hurt sentiment. So Victor feels wronged by Tasha and being around Tasha will remind Victor of that pain. That is kind of sad. Sentiments don't last forever. And if you do things like if I were to apologize to Victor, this would go away faster or maybe just go away completely. I think you can have up to four sentiments at a time about a specific sim. So if you get a fifth one, the least important one will be replaced. Wonder if I got anything for anyone else. So I was also flirting with Knox and we're now lovebirds, but no sentiments there. I gave Summer a key to my house. So now this is added to her sim profile. It says she is a key holder for Anaya. We can see who her spouse is, but yeah, no sentiments there. I like that they're not that easy to get, but what I really like about them is that they affect how your sims act around other sims, which just adds more depth to the gameplay. So I am very excited about that, but I don't know how long I'm gonna play for this little update video. I just wanted to let you guys know that sentiments have been added to the base game, but I don't know what they are. I don't think there is a list of them. So that is just something you guys can discover while playing your household, which I think is super fun. So yeah, you can check the Sims profiles from here, from, you know, your friend's menu as well, or by clicking on the Sim. And then when you're having a conversation with them, you know, you have a little panel up here. The sentiments will also show up there. All right, I've actually just gone on a date with Nox and this panel was blinking with the little icon, like this icon for sentiment. And now his portrait is surrounded by this yellow border and it has the icon. So let's take a look now. All right, so Tasha's sentiment about Knox. So I guess you can see your sim sentiments about them and then also their sentiments about you. Apparently I'm or Tasha is submitting with Knox, but Knox isn't smitten about us but yeah this is what we have so this is an enamored sentiment i don't know how to say that but it says tasha can't explain it but she's really enamored with Knox, and the sight of him makes tasha's heart beat faster so that is actually super cute so i want to see if we have any buffs from um, being around him and now that we're having a conversation up here you can see the sentiment so i think that is a really really cool addition that i am very excited about but no i did not notice any new buffs or mootlets from this but that doesn't mean there aren't some i think there definitely could be but that is all i'm gonna be covering about the sentiments for now let me know if you guys want to see like a full overview of everything that i can find out about sentiments or maybe if they post as a list of all the different ones that there are, I will definitely do a video and give you guys that info. But the sim profiles, I am totally digging. I think they're super cool and very useful as well. And this just looks very pleasing to me as well, like aesthetically pleasing. I think this looks good. 
I'm very excited about this. So yeah, those are the big new things coming with today's free update. There was a bunch of bug fixes as well, which is really cool. I will link the patch notes down below if you guys want to go read them for yourselves. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and look out for Sims for a Snowy Escape content on the channel very very soon i'm super excited if you have anything you want to see with the new expansion pack comment down below and that is all for me today thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow bye